Now to demonstrate the idea of uh, LLDP, Link Layer Discovery Protocol, I have taken this simple layer which we created in our previous video and I'm going to put the link of that video in the description section. So anyway, you can see we have these three routers and three switches. We want to enable LLDP on these uh, devices so that they start sending and receiving information about themselves to their neighbors. So for that, I'm going to select the router which is uh, is the middle router and for that I'm going to select a color to emphasize the idea so first we are going to enable LLDP on this router so to enable it we are going to the command line interface of this router and first we need to go to privilege mode using enable command and then using configure terminal command we are going to global configuration mode and when we are in global configuration mode, we first we need to disable CDP. And now to disable CDP, we have a command that's no CDP and run. So with this command, we are going to disable CDP, which is by default um, there. So CDP is by default enabled there. And that's Cisco discovery protocol. So on all these Cisco devices, we have this protocol enabled. So first we disable it. And then we are going to enable LLDP protocol for that. We have the command that is LLDP and run. So with very simple command, we enable LLDP protocol on this router too. It is now this router has started sending and receiving the messages LLDP. But if you want to verify it, then we can go to privilege mode and then we can use this show LLDP command and it will display the information whether this is active or LLDP has been enabled or not. So you can see global LLDP information. It shows that status is active. It means this uh, protocol is uh, has been enabled. And further information that LLDP advertisements are sent every 30 seconds. It means after every 30 seconds, it will be sending this LLDP data units to their neighbors. And if it receives the information from the neighbors, then it will hold that information in its memory for 120 seconds that is the whole time and in the same way the reinitialization delay is uh, two seconds for for the interfaces so with this basic information we verified that LLDP is enabled on this router 3 let's go to this switch and on this switch also by default CDP is enabled but LLDP is not enabled there and for that we can verify this as well in the privilege mode if we issue the command as show LLDP so it says that LLDP is not enabled now to enable this LLDP we need to go to global configuration mode and in the global configuration mode we first say no CDP run to disable CDP and now to enable LLDP we have LLDP run command so we have enabled LLDP on this switch and for verification, we can use this command where show LLDP and it displays that status is active and rest of the information is same as we discussed in router two, sorry, in this, on this router. Now this router and switches, they have, they are sending and receiving information about themselves to each other. And if you want to see what information they are exchanging with each other, we can go to that device for example this router and we use the command that is show LLDP and neighbors so we want to see the neighbors uh, of this router that's router R2 the middle router and you can see but as a result of this command it shows that we have one entry displayed here and in that entry this is information about the one one neighbor so that neighbor the device ID about that neighbor is switch to so that is basically switched to this, this in neighbor. And then this is the local interface of the router, which is connected with that neighbor and the whole time for those information, which will be hold in this router, that's 120. And the capability of that is, that capability is B. So it means whether the neighbor is a router or switch or some other device, that information is indicated by this code B and further explanation of these codes are like R stands for router, B stands for bridge. At the moment, the neighbor device is basically a bridge. 
which actually uh, indicates a switch and then we, we have the port id that is the port of the neighbor uh, device so the to which this router is connected so this is the interface of the neighbor so this is the information about a neighbor so in this way if we enable LLDP on this router on the left hand side so for that we go to this command line interface and we go to global configuration mode and the global global configuration mode first we need to disable CDP using no CDP run command and then if you want to enable LLDP then we have LLDP run command we have enable LLDP and for verification we can use the show LLDP command it will display whether this has been active or not so you can see this LLDP has been activated on this router it's now this router has also started sending and receiving the message to its neighbor and for verification maybe we can see again on this router and if we use the same command so it means but it will hold the previous entries for for this 120 seconds you see show LLDP it displays two entries now two entries means one entry is about router which is this neighbor and the second neighbor is a switch so you can see for both of the neighbors in the device id column we have the router one switch two and these are the local interfaces of this router in the middle one so we and the whole time and capability you can see this time the capability column shows r so r is basically indicating the router so the second neighbor is the router which we can see here in the table okay so in the same way we can enable this LLDP on all these nodes but one more interesting feature of this LLDP is that that we can configure any one interface of these devices to uh, not to send or not to receive this LLDP message so for instance if i say that i want i want to maybe let's say use some color here again so for example i want to configure this interface of the router so that it should not transmit any lldp messages to its neighbor it can receive but it should not transmit it so for that what we do we can go to this router and then we go to global configuration mode and uh, so config t and, in, and then we go to that particular interface of the router so this interface of this router is gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 so if we hover over there so that's gigabit 0 slash 0 that's 10.20.30 is the ip address of this so we go to this interface of the router that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we press enter so only zero slash zero that's the interface of that router and once we are in that interface of the router we use this command that is no lldp and transmit so with this command this interface will not transmit any lldp messages to its neighbor but it's still keep receiving the message but it will not transmit it so we just uh, configured that and now to verify whether now if this router is not sending any LLTP message it means this router should not have information about this neighbor that's router r1 and large so let's verify this one so for verification we go to this router and we use the same command that is show LLTP neighbors but it still it shows two entries there this because it will hold those previous entries for 120 seconds so we again use this command two entries this will be need to wait for some time and it will just say two entries there and meanwhile maybe we can see here as well if this is enabled there we can see show cdp not cdp sorry this lldp neighbors so this is one entry there which is only about this router now let's verify again this one show LLDP neighbors there 120 seconds so this will be three minutes but to, uh, to save the time maybe 
I'll just stop this video and start it again. Or maybe we can fast forward this. So we have this fast forward button in the bottom. So we can just click this one. And now hopefully this 120 seconds has been passed. Now it should update its table and we use the same command and now you can see it only has the entry one entry and in that entry it has the information about the switch but it doesn't have the information about this router because the router this router on this interface it's not sending any any LLTP information to its neighbor okay but it will be receiving the information so it can display the information about the router but it will not send its information to its neighbor so in this way per interface we can enable the transmission of LLDP or we can enable the reception of LLDP messages. And so with this uh, simple commands, we can enable LLDP and we can verify LLDP on the routers or the switches. And also we can enable the LLDP transmit as well as LLDP receive on these interfaces. And hopefully this uh, video has been helpful for you and hope to see you in some other video with some other topic and thank you very much for your time